Hello. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to um, add a YouTube video that will start and stop at a particular time within your Google Form. That way you can control um, the length of time of different videos that you might want to have. Um, and this is for our Google Form experiments. Now, unfortunately, when you do it the regular way, when you go, you have a video and you want to um, share it. So you copy the link like this and you go to your Google Form and you embed it. It won't let you modify the um, URL here to add the start and stop times. It won't let you do that. Um, so what you have to do, because this will just play the whole time, is go ahead and add a text box. And then um, depending on what you're doing, probably because it's going to open the link in a new window. So you might want to say, please. So I want to say, please click on the link below and when the music starts playing, come back to this Google form to continue the experiment or something like that. Um, maybe if you're having them just listen to the music and then proceed, listen to their music in the entirety, whatever it is that you're having them do. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here. I went to my video. I went to share. I went to embed. And then what I want to copy is this little um, URL here where it goes the, from the HTTP What's everything that's in between those two quotation marks. I'm going to copy that. Control C. I'm going to go back to my Google form. I'm going to paste that there. Now I want to start and stop. So I'm going to add a question mark and you can do it different ways. Um, so I'm going to do start. And if I do start equals, let's say um, 60, that's going to start at one minute. Then I do an ampersand sign. And then I'm going to put, if you put end or stop, so those are two different codes. So if I put end, it will end at the time. If I put stop, it adds the total minutes. It's kind of a weird thing. So end is probably better. That's, that's what I seem to think equals. And I'm going to do 120. That gives me a minute of playing time. You might need three minutes. You need to do it in seconds. So I've got a minute playing time here. So you need to figure out how much playing time you need. Um, you want to make sure. If you need to figure out what that length is. And then I'm just going to show you how that works. I'm going to come up here. So you want to test it out. Come up here to the eye where you preview your Google form and see if I clicked on this, it's going to do the whole thing. So if I come here and I click on that, see, it starts in a minute. And then they could come back. If you wanted them to listen while they're reading something, they could come back and read that on the same page. We see it stopped right here at two minutes. And then you've indicated to them um, to come back to continue the experiment. Um, whether it's when the music starts playing or when the music is over, you need to give your explicit instructions. Um, again, you need to you know put in the, the start and stop times that work for you. Um, and again, the end time will end the video at the specific time. If you put in stop, it appears that it kind of adds to the minutes.